Hello everybody. If you, in case if you are wondering why am I filming myself in the bathroom, well, it's because of these guys right here. Bam. If you recall, a few videos ago, I reported that my car was vandalized by somebody stealing three or four of these wheel covers. And that is all true. It's still true today, but what's True today also is that through the help of a fellow Lincoln Town Car owner uh, and through eBay, I now have five of these and I just recently received three from another member who was super nice and sent me three of his. Uh, we agreed through, uh, you know, through Facebook, through private chat and you know, we agreed on a deal, and he was nice enough to do it, and so I got that. And then I also saw one for sale on eBay, so I wanted to get uh, another one. Now, also, when I reported that my cars, my, my car was vandalized, kind of deal, or, you know, theft occurred. It wasn't really vandalized, just they stole three of these. Another member reached out, and we agreed, and he's going to send me three more. So we agreed on a deal, uh, nice, reasonable. So I'm going to get, I'm going to end up with some spares. So I'm going to have basically two sets. So three more are coming uh, for, you know, for a total of eight. Anyway, so I'm super excited. So I received these. So one of these is the original one, and I don't know which one. Uh, which one is which to be honest with you because the only thing that I know is that the one that that was left on my car There were also marks on it. So I think it's this one because this is the only one that has a, a White white sticker right here. So I also noticed as I was kind of looking at it It's right here So it looks like whoever was trying To take it off. They did try to jam something in there as you can kind of see, I don't know how well it comes out. And you can see this little thing separated, the, the metal, the aluminum looking piece that's separated. And there's a mark right here too of a screwdriver. Let's see, can I increase light? Maybe zoom out? Well, anyway, so it does look like that there was an attempt made to take the fourth one. But somewhere, somehow, they decided maybe it was too much hassle. Maybe they, they didn't want it to break off, which, which it could have, obviously. Uh, so they left me one. So this is what I used to get to this part number. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out. Uh, no. Well, anyway, there's a part number right here. So why, <laughs> why am I filming in my bathroom? Well... Reason for that is because I want to give these things a bath before putting them on my car. Now I'm super thankful that uh, that I have these, and from eBay and from um, from another member of the Lincoln Town Car Owners Group on Facebook. But I want to wash them. I want to wash them because uh, just this is me, you know. Believe it or not, I actually did wash when I first got my car. It came with all four, and it actually. I, I did wash them. I took them off. This was in my pre-YouTube quote-unquote career. So uh, I washed them. I took them off and I put them back in my car because they were, you know, a little dirty to me. Well, somebody did take them from me, at least three of them. So that's what I want to do today. I'm going to be washing my Lincoln Town Car wheel cap covers. I still don't know what the official name of these things are. So here we go. Let's wash them. So for this exercise, we're going to need one cover, used kitchen dish sponge, and I'm going to be using the yellow, the soccer side, because this side might actually scratch, and some normal hand soap. Here we go. All right. So in case if you think that I'm weird, you know, yes, I am weird, but... Also, as I'm kind of cleaning them and washing this, I also noticed some of the things in the back right here. So, like this particular one, see this? Obviously, this is a sign of uh, somebody trying to jam it in and maybe hitting the bolt that's supposed to be here or or just not being careful. So, this is interesting. It's, it's right here, too. You see? It's all kind of bent. Let's see. How can I do this? Yeah, there you go. 
So yeah, these things these things have a weird uh, construction too. I noticed. So you basically have the symbol, the star. I'm not sure if that's glued inside or how does it being held or is it just the friction? So you got this portion. I wanna. I mean, I I wish I could just take one out of there. Um, but anyway, I don't know if it's glued or not. Uh, so then you have this aluminum plate, looks like a like a big coaster or something. But then this aluminum plate is being held to the plastic via these tabs. So there's a bunch of these tabs, what, like two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. So then on the bottom, or I mean, I shouldn't say on the bottom. I don't know which way is up and which way is down, but it looks like they're not symmetrical either. So not sure what's up with this. And then you have this spring that I guess is designed for these tabs not to break off as you're trying to friction force it into the wheel. Very strange, very overly designed, you know, for, for a Lincoln Town car uh, that's, that's known for its simplicity and ruggedness. This thing is, I mean, it's like three different components. You have this very fancy, you know, construction here. You have the spring and also... It was so difficult for me when I, I, like my first instinct was just to buy, you know, off of eBay. But then when I saw that on eBay, some, some people are selling these for like 80 bucks a piece. You know, I was like, there's no way I'm going to, you know, spend for, for three of them and almost 200 bucks. So uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm super thankful that um, another aficionado was able to send me that. So there you go. So yeah. I think in later designs, they simplified it because there's a bunch of cheaper ones for like 20 to $30 where it's way less complicated than this. But still, you know, I guess there's a reason why modern cars don't use it. All right. So here is the first one. Bottom line, if somebody steals them again, at least they'll get it much cleaner than before. All right. On to the next one. So this one is interesting. This one's got like a bunch of tar things on it. Um, I don't know if these all came from the same car or not. It looks like this first one I washed. It's it doesn't have the tar, but this one does. So and I obviously don't want to scrape it too much. I tried with my fingernail. It doesn't come off. So I, I don't want to you know mess it up. So it's fine. It'll have some tar on it. This one also you have some bent tabs right here that. They don't really do anything but hold the spring in, in place, but still, yeah, see? All of them are damaged, so, but it's okay. I don't think it will affect anything. All right. So, next one, let's do the, uh, the original one. Once again, <laughs> these things are not in the best shape of its life. You can see scrape marks all the way around. Nothing, nothing fancy, obviously, but... Mine is surprisingly, it's these things are bent just ever so slightly. So I don't know, maybe I did it, maybe previous three owners did it, but here we go. And also as I'm cleaning them, it's interesting to view these production codes. Let's see, how can I do this? Well, they're right here. You won't be able to see them because I think they require a light, but Anyway, this particular one, the production codes are actually, so these things were made in 05, 06, and 07, this right here. This particular one, this is the one that came from my car, at least to the best of my knowledge. This one was made in 04 and 05. So it's interesting when they when they hit production run, I mean, they usually stamp them right, right up here. So they're all over the place. So this next one I'm going to do. Uh, this one, a production run of 05, 06, and 07. So they have the months going across and they have the, the years down. So kind of interesting to see how they run these things. All right, on to the next one. This one is interesting because somebody marked like their initials, L-M-A-P, or some sort of a, an acronym or something. So... What um, one of the one of my viewers or, or somebody on Facebook uh, suggested when I first posted that, hey, you know, these things were stolen off of my car. Somebody said, when you get replacements, put some sort of an identifier 
on on yours uh to see like if you ever end up on on if you ever see one like this on ebay so you could at least know that they're yours now there's some questionable benefit as to like well if i know that they used to belong to mine like can i call the cops can i tell them they were stolen from my car but you know i don't know but in any case so i see somebody put lmnp and it's what lm ap oh you can hear my cat meowing um behind the door there so anyway yeah i don't know what the benefit is but maybe i'll do something like that you know who knows all right the last but not least so here you go as you can see this one also these tabs were bent somewhere somehow during installation but they still hold the spring in place so nothing nothing too bad here so there you have it. I got currently five. I'm going to be letting them dry. Um, this one is actually probably the best shape. Uh, there's no tar. There's barely any scratches on it. So this is like the premium one with somebody's initial. Uh, the rest, they don't have any identifiers. But let's see. I don't know. What, what should I put? Should I put my initial here in a permanent marker? I don't know. Sure. Why not? All right, so here's a little uh, commercial cat break. Our cat is checking out <laughs> these hubcaps. Uh, we got his litter box and his food in this bathroom too. So, all right, let's not show anybody how we rend. So, there you have. There you go. So let's see which one is which one is your favorite his name is edward no he's uh he's been in a couple other of my videos primarily for a split second so this is probably the longest on camera he's been and i don't know if he's going after the sink or the faucet or let's see what if we what if we make a little hat out of it All right, I don't know if this is bordering on animal abuse, but you can hear him purring. All right, I don't know why I'm obsessed with making this into a hat for him. All right, enough of that nonsense. All right, so to ensure that these covers will be somehow identified as my covers, first and foremost, I'm going to make the part number dark, just like this, and Edward is eating in the background, because <laughs> he also got his food in here, so, <laughs> all right, and I'm going to put today's date, okay, today is 10, 3, 20, and my initials, VK, how's that, so this will be my identifier if I ever find this on ebay all right everybody <laughs> the next segment will be i'll do this for for all the all the ones i currently have next segment is to my town car they go so today is the day that these four discs are gonna go right down here one on each side so i kept the best looking one uh there's a spare, I guess, and I do have three more coming from another member of the Facebook group. I'm not sure if he's my subscriber or not. And so here we go. Here is one. All right. So it does fit. <laughs> it's nice and nice and clean in relationship to the actual wheel. And the sad thing about these things is that there's a lot different versions, but these seem to be the most elusive and the most expensive because of the freaking cutouts. So, like if they just made this without the cutouts, like if they made this thing thinner, I guess. You know, they could have been a lot cheaper. So 
it looks like somebody wrote something inside my wheel. I don't know if this was like that before. But oh yeah, by the way, here here's my my mark covers, my initials. I blacked out the part number and I put the date. So I did this yesterday. So I'm I'm putting these on as of October 4th is the day. But the sad thing about this whole thing is that somebody can take them again. And they, they're not new, like they're scratched. So I'm guessing if somebody had an option of, you know, not having one at all, and, you know, having these scratched up used ones, I guess, you know, it would take scratched up used ones. But anyway, here you go. All four are back. Now, I do have a message if you're watching my video, the person who took them, why don't you be a man, you know, reach out to me. I'm not gonna call the cops. We're not gonna get in a fight with you. And yeah, just just, uh, just reach out to me. <laughs> I wanna know why you took them, but I also wanna, you know, especially if you took them to put them on your Lincoln Town Car, I think as a payment, the best thing uh, you can do is let me film your, your town car. Now, if you are a bastard who uh, took them and sold them on eBay, you know, obviously, I still want to talk to you <laughs> and give you a piece of my mind, but at the same time, you know, you're, you're a bad person. So, also, now that I'm kind of becoming an expert in these freaking wheel covers, look, none of the modern cars have that. Look, they all have the little center thing, so this is our car. They all have this piece, which I guess you could technically steal. But I bet you this is going to be a lot cheaper to replace. Look, look at all the modern cars. Here's the, here's a Camry right there. Here is another Camry right there. Here is a Ford, what is this, a Fusion? Yep. So they have some sort of decoration in the middle. But nothing like town cars do. There you go. Here's a, what is this? Oh, it's a Mazda Tribute. Yeah, these are pretty rare. The only other car that I saw this on is actually this one. So this is an old Solara. And look, they have a similar style. So now nobody took these things off of this Solara, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, look, still has all four. But it's the same design as on the town car. So anyway. Well, I don't know if the person will ever reach out to me, but the bottom line is I got 04 back. I hope they stay this way. If you guys can think of any good way of me to secure these things to make sure that somebody doesn't just come up, come up again and you know, stick a screwdriver in here and take them off, you know, let me know. I thought about putting like I don't know, like a little thin piece of wire maybe or like a zip tie, but at the same time, like for God's sakes, you know, somebody, somebody can just snip the zip tie right off and, you know, and if I put some sort of a sealant right here, or some sort of a glue, I mean, technically it would prevent somebody from taking them back easily, but at the same time, when I do wheel, um, uh, change out, you know, rotate my tires, I, I mean, I'm going to have to break this myself, so what's the point? All right, anyway... Thank you, everybody, for your love, for your support, uh, for offering to send me these, and for ultimately, you know, getting helping to get these replaced. We'll see you next time.